Hi, welcome to Burger World. What can I get you, ma'am? Excuse me? Uh, wh what can I get for you? Oh my god, you just did it again. What, take your order? No, you're cat calling me. Ma'am, I'm just doing my job trying to take your order. Oh my god, you're still doing it. It's men like you that contributes to a society that validates rape culture. Rape culture doesn't exist. Triggered. Triggered! What is good, YouTube family? It's your boy Rashad with the Black Anomaly Rise Channel. Man. Kind of a weird story today because we got another attack against free speech. Now, in this case, it's not in America, but for those who don't know, real quick, I did a video a while ago. I can't remember how long ago, maybe like a month or so, and it was about why I left the Democrat Party. This story kind of likens back to that because free speech, in my opinion, is all but dead in the Democrat Party. During the COVID era, you kind of saw how everything was labeled as misinformation in order to basically shut you up from speaking out against whatever the current government narrative was. And then later on, when they determined it was okay for you to speak and say certain things that they already knew were true to begin with, then they were like, oh, this is actually true. So now you can say it. And now all the uh, social media companies and, uh, you, you know, all the YouTubes and, you know, whatever else was it allowing you to say these things without getting videos taken down, without getting posts removed, without getting video strikes and channels deleted and all of this ridiculous stuff that they had going on. But a lot of this stuff they would still be doing like with Twitter, with Elon Musk and whatnot, if he had not purchased Twitter. But going back to the story that's happening today so you got this referee so she's a female referee Rebecca Welch is over somewhere in the UK they were having presumably what appears to be like a football match you know soccer in the US terminology and they claim that she was getting hit with misogynistic statements and chanting from two teenagers 17 years old so what occurred is they actually took and arrested these two individuals, which to me is pretty insane. Now, I've heard of stuff like this happening in other countries before where they essentially don't really have free speech to the extent of in the USA. Like, they kind of claim to have free speech, but, I mean, you saw how that went here in the U.S. a couple years ago and still to some extent today. But admittedly, as far as I know, there's nobody in America getting arrested for it. Well, after the game, a West Midlands police has said that two arrests were made for misogynistic chanting at referee Rebecca Welsh. They said, our officers heard the chants being directed at the official and acted quickly to arrest the two who are both 17. They're currently in custody on suspicion of a public order offence. Again, this is over in the UK, and you got folks getting arrested for this. Now, here's the thing. I was looking through the article here, and I'll read a bit of it. But I don't see anything about them actually mentioning what specifically was said, which is one of the reasons why this is a very slippery slope and why I'm glad that it's the First Amendment. Nobody should be calling free speech a threat to democracy. I actually heard people say this. Free speech advocates warn the growing move to shut down certain speakers and opinions on college campuses threatens First Amendment rights. Berkeley was ripped up by rioters who didn't want a conservative commentator for Breitbart News to speak on campus. Angry students at Vermont's Middlebury campus shouted down and turned their backs on controversial author Charles Murray, who some label a racist. Then Middlebury professor Allison Stanger was assaulted as she helped Murray push through a student mob. Somebody pulled my hair and body slammed me. Uh, in the opposite direction. I suffered a, a concussion and whiplash. Fury broke out again at Berkeley, but didn't stop conservative firebrand Ben Shapiro I've from speaking there. The he told CBN News. There's an enormous group of people on the left who now identify verbiage with violence. They, they identify words with violence. If I don't like something that you say and I have an emotional reaction to it and it causes me stress and I have a physical reaction, well, that's you actually doing harm to me. And now I am justified in, in using physical violence in order to prevent you from doing further harm to me. This is really dangerous stuff. Okay, but this is one of the things why, one of the reasons why I'm glad First Amendment is literally freedom of speech. And there's a reason for the amendment's order. These guys who came up with the Constitution were low-key some geniuses. Or at least, at the very least, good historians because 
they knew the things that had happened historically in the historic oppression, which is why America is the land of the free. The fact that people don't know kind of the horrors of the history that people had to deal with in a true tyranny, true oppression, is why so many people like mock and shame and defame and hate America today because most of them are too young or too ignorant to actually understand what true oppression looks like. Never lived anywhere else, never talked to anyone who lived in another place, don't know the history. And you can see that this is not a good situation whatsoever, uh, at least not in my opinion. But let me go over a couple quick details here. West Midlands police have confirmed that two arrests were made for misogynistic chanting at match referee Rebecca Welch during Birmingham City game with Sheffield Wednesday. So again, we didn't hear exactly what they said. Uh, I have looked at a couple articles and I've not seen a single one that says specifically what they said. For all we know, it wasn't misogynistic, but it could have been interpreted as misogynistic. Uh, or it could have been somebody simply saying boo to the ref like you suck or something like that which is a normal thing but as we know there's a double standard in terms of how men are treated versus how women are treated men are just kind of expected to just take whatever happens to them essentially and is expected to have emotions of steel whereas women get all extra butt hurt more often than men do about these sorts of things and it turned into this big thing, which is one of the reasons I'm curious about what specifically was said. Did they bring up the person's anatomy? You know, what, was there some sort of slur? We don't know. Uh, unfortunately, they had an overshadowed victory by news of two young 17, two 17 year old boys being arrested for allegedly chanting towards Welsh, who made history in January when she became the first woman to officiate a championship match after she took charge of Birmingham's clash with Prestine. The West Midlands police said in a statement, we have arrested two boys for misogynistic chanting at a female referee before Birmingham's home game. So this was before the game? Oh, it was during Birmingham. Sorry, my, my eyesight. Look, it's late. My eyesight's freaking going out. Our officials heard the chants being directed at the officer and acted quickly to arrest the two who are both 17. They're currently in custody on suspicion of a public order offense as we carry out inquiries. Um, so what is that? Like the equivalent of disturbing the peace or something? We don't tolerate any form of hate and it is important hate crime is that hate crime is reported to us. So if somebody even says something, it's a hate crime. So I'm a black person. I've had white people call me the N-word before, maliciously, and, like, I didn't feel like they should be arrested. I mean, I felt like punching them in the face, but the problem is then I would get arrested. <laughs> but I don't care if somebody says stupid words. I mean, I would wager that if you go throughout most people's life, they probably use a racial slur or two, even it may be amongst friends or something, probably that they would be ashamed to admit but these are some of those types of things that, you know, we live in a real world. We know these things happen. People make all kinds of racist, crazy jokes and stuff like that. And sometimes people get riled up and they say stupid things. But in this case, you're literally, literally talking about, uh, at least according to what the U.S. considers a child, is under the age of 18. So you're talking about two non-adults getting arrested for saying misogynistic stuff. And we don't even know what the hell they even said insane this is one of the reasons why when people complain about America I get it there's no place that's perfect find me a place that's literally just better than America if you want to live in Canada you want to you want to be woke as hell just go to Canada but I guarantee you the pendulum always swings the other way it's going to come a time when you want to say something and then here go your ass getting arrested like hands behind your back Get on the ground, <laughs> get in the back of this police car because you said something that somebody didn't agree with or the government didn't agree with at the time or you made somebody mad and so they bent the rules and decided to arrest you. I don't like this sort of precedent and hopefully this changes again, not in the U.S. So technically, maybe not my problem, but a lot of the U.S. politicians, we got so many freaking immigrants coming in. A lot of people are trying to make the USA, they're coming to the U.S. and trying to make it like home. Which makes no sense. I'm like, you left for a damn reason. 
Don't turn it like your like your place, especially third some of the third world places, and and even some of the first world places where you can't damn speak because this is first world right here. Okay, UK. I don't want nothing nothing like the UK to be like it is in America. I want America to be the trendsetter, not the other way around. Okay, land of the free for the reason they don't call nowhere else the land of the free except America. All right, and it's a reason it need to stay like that. And a lot of these people coming over just straight up, straight up communists. You know, like that's is that's literally what it's turned into. Like I, I used to think it was a joke when people used to talk about like socialism and call, calling socialism communism light. But at this point, it's just really just just straight up communism. Now you can't do nothing, say nothing, joke about anything. It's becoming insane. I don't know what the hell this world's coming to. I'm fearful for my damn children growing up into this ridiculous world. I'm like, damn, is uh, uh, is some of these people going to come over here? Is this going to bleed into America? It's already kind of happening. So my kid's going to get in trouble for saying something crazy one time, even as children, not even as adults. You locking up 17-year-olds. Man, we need some serious prayer, some serious voting. We need something, because I don't like the way this is going. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all watching. Black Anomaly, rising. I'm out. Sexist, bigot, racist, stupid cis male.